Okay, just squeeze and hold. There you go. Becoming a bone marrow donor today is almost as simple as giving blood. Images of huge needles and debilitating stays in the hospital are simply not true in most cases. So how are you feeling? Dr. Edward Agura, the director of the stem cell transplant unit at Baylor, explains. The transplant involves no surgery. It does not involve an isolation room. Some patients um, are transplanted without ever spending a day in the hospital. To try to get rid of your cancer, first we're going to till the soil. So to get rid of all of the bad cancer cells, the, the weeds or whatever, the soil is tilled. And that's analogous to the part of the transplant where a patient gets chemotherapy and radiation treatment. It takes about a week. Uh, we then replant the garden with healthy plants. These are the stem cells, the seeds from the donor that find their own way through the bloodstream and actually plant themselves back in the patient's garden in the bone marrow. Uh, what makes a blood stem cell special is that it is the parent or the mother and father of all of the different blood types that exist in the human body. They are like homing pigeons. They find their way back into the bone marrow, which is their natural home, uh, and they begin to multiply and grow. From one stem cell, um, thousands or even millions of blood cells can be formed. When the um, garden is fully grown, there are hopefully no cancer cells, no, no weeds, and just mature, healthy plants uh, from the donor. Uh, donors uh, are healthy individuals who don't have cancer. Um, donors have to be a perfect match for something called tissue type. Um, tissue type is a very rare thing, unlike blood type. There are millions of tissue types. So to have a match usually means finding that one in a million person who has your exact tissue type. Such a match was celebrated at Baylor when Andy Killian from East Texas met his donor, Ronald Muth from Germany, for the first time. Killian's gratitude expressed in the words of his wife, Connie. Within the last year, we welcomed three new grandbabies. It is because of Roland's generosity to save a stranger's life, Andy's enjoying being a grandfather to these precious baby boys and to our two sweet granddaughters, ages three and five. It has been a long road, but Andy's in complete remission now. We are so grateful to his donor, who he calls his twin brother, since they share the same DNA, and we cannot wait to meet Roland and thank him in person. Wondermus uh, how's that for a word? It was wonderful to, to get to see him for the first time. It's a wonderful feeling, yes. It's, for me, it's the best day. Yeah. It's good. Muth provided a life-saving bone marrow without surgery, a procedure that took one day of outpatient time, preceded by several days of injections to get his stem cells primed for the transplant. It surprises donors who are signed up to be volunteer donors that nowadays uh, stem cells or blood stem cells are collected not with an operation but with a, um, a blood donation really through a needle in the arm. There's a lot of misinformation and outdated information about bone marrow transplant. I think it was viewed and still is viewed as somewhat of a procedure to be feared. Uh, there's a misunderstanding that uh, you're too old for transplant after age 55. Well, that's not true. Uh, we have patients in their 70s now going through this type of transplant. Um, and there's a fear of pain and discomfort, which again, generally is not the case. Currently, about 70% of patients who need a bone marrow transplant do not find one in a family member. And over 60,000 people have joined the Be The Match registry. But with odds at one in a million of finding a match in the general population, everyone needs to sign up today. Just go to BaylorHealth.com to see how you can give the gift of life. For DallasHope.com, I'm Tony Martinez.